Stop number two on fabulous historical Fort Island is the Pearl Harbor Aviation Museum. As was the case with the Missouri visit, no bags are allowed on Fort Island as it is an active military base. Leave those bags at the Pearl Harbor Submarine Museum. When you arrive at the museum, you're greeted by a C-47 Skytrain, sometimes known as a DC-3, and the iconic water tower. The museum is split up into Hangar 37 and Hangar 73. Regardless of the numbers, when you enter the main hangar, you're greeted with a beautiful restoration of a Japanese Zero. Pearl Harbor and the attack on December 7th are at the forefront of the museum, of course. One of the main aircraft that the Japanese used was the Nakajima Kate, is a torpedo and aerial bomber. Apparently not many are left in existence because they only have the remnants of one at the museum. Don't forget to look up. B-40 Warhawk was the main fighter of the United States Armed Forces on December 7th, 1941. And with the Missouri, there's also a relic from the Arizona. This particular relic exhibits a lot of rust and corrosion and what looks like burn marks. I don't know if those are actually burn marks from December 7th, but uh, they sure look like it. Interesting juxtaposition of Japanese Zero and Peace of the Arizona. Regardless of that, they also have a B-25 Mitchell. If you recall, the Mitchell raid dropped bombs on Japan in 1942. Those that have watched the recent Pearl Harbor movie know the tale of Dick Best and the hero of the Battle of Midway, the SBD Dauntless. Slow but deadly, it was nicknamed. Four Japanese carriers were sunk during the Battle of Midway. The US Navy also flew the F-4F Wildcat early in World War II. Beautiful example on display here at the museum. As well as other artifacts like this motorcycle that's a pretty sweet ride. Of all the aviation museums, this particular display in Hangar 37 at the Pearl Harbor Aviation Museum is one of my favorites. And it has one of my favorite aircrafts, this P-40E. That is a beautiful P-40. That's an E. Sweet. This is another restoration that is on par with the Japanese Zero at the start of Hangar 37. I think this is a beautiful aircraft and I think I might build me one of these. We got a P-40E in the queue and paint it up like this would be pretty sweet, I think. Currently, several aircraft are housed outside between Hangar 37 and Hangar 79, I think is what it is. Here's some shots of my favorites, including the Delta Dagger. Can't say Delta without saying Delta, Delta, Delta. Can I help you, help you, help you? Sorry about that. An F-16. F-86. F-100 Super Saber. This is also in my build queue. And we'll take you to the danger zone in an F-14. Top, top gun, anyone? Anyway. 
F15. A Huey Cobra. It's very weird being here because you can kind of imagine the planes coming over the horizon there. And I was not aware, but Amelia Earhart had crashed at Fort Island at some point. And moving on to Hangar 79. I really hope it is Hangar 79. This is the restoration hangar. I think a lot of the aircraft that are normally outside are parked in here. But not on my visit. There's a B-17E on display. That was the Ghost of the Swamp. Crashed in New Guinea way back in the 40s, I guess. A TBM Avenger. That is a really, really big airplane. It looks like it holds three or four people. FA-18, the Blue Angels, looking beautiful. And for some reason, this MiG was hanging from the rafters. I suspect they're working on the wheels, but I don't really know. So they indicate that these holes in the windows these were 1941 windows, and those are bullet holes from the Japanese attack. At least some of them are. And as always, you can remember to exit through the gift shop. Some good stuff in there. Or, it is hot in Hawaii, you can exit through the snack shop at this place. Thanks for watching today. The Pearl Harbor Aviation Museum is a checklist item for most av geeks, I would say. And they have some beautiful flowers. If you have any questions or comments about the Pearl Harbor Aviation Museum, please post those below and I'll be happy to respond. Happy travels, everyone.